Can you get a little closer together? <laughs> happy, we're happy. We're happy. Do you hold hands as well? <laughs> I like this. I don't. <laughs> yeah, Matt, we're closer to Closer. I'm Bella and I rode for Brawlays and I've been there for five years. And I'm Izzy and I'm at Henley and I've been there for like six, yeah, six years. Um, I'm Phoebe and I rode for Thames Tracy. I'm Georgie, I rode for Henley. Um, I'm Tash Strudwick, I'm rowing in the devil with Olivia and I rode for Marley Rowing Club. I'm Olivia on Savenberg, I rode at Last Martha and I'm in the double with Tasha. My club is part of the school, so when you get into year nine, they sort of offer it as like an option to do, and I was like, why not? And my friend's sister's rowed, so it was sort of like recommended, and then we just went through the beginner, like learn to row program, and then you kind of just like work your way through, like from okay. 13, yeah. Like when I first started, I did like hockey, swimming, horse riding, and rowing. You have to, vote, like, you can't really have another sport that you do at the same time because it just takes up too much time. If your heart's like really in it and like you enjoy it then it's sort of the sport that you focus on and you wouldn't, I like, I personally wouldn't really want to do anything else like having done other sports I know that Rowan's definitely the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Kind of, I mean I'm quite relaxed. I've always been a bit sort of like eh, whatever. These sorts of things don't worry me that much. I mean obviously Izzy's done that sort of thing before and pretty much everyone else here has, so I'm just sort of like following along. Uh, no, I raced the GB at Junior Worlds last summer. Uh, I think with competition you always, it's always, you, you need to do your best. I think we're jadding really well and we're just looking forward to racing. Yes, it is. It yeah. Is. Mm -hmm. um, I did GB France in J16, which was fun. And then I didn't get to trial last year, so this year it was like trying to get on the team. It's just sort of like coaches like pushing you into it and like saying you should do it because I remember I was never really that keen on actually doing it. I went when I was 16 and we had to do the J18 trials and you're like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. And your coach is like, no, you just need the experience. Looking back now, like having done, like going to Boston now three times, like it really does help. Well, it's pretty much been the goal all this year for a lot of people at last minute. Well, we wrote a quad most of the year, so our focus was really like Nat schools and Henley, but then there was always the aim of GB for all of us as well. So it's nice to get here. Yeah. Well, I think the big difference is that you're staying as like one big squad on camp, whereas Coop, we kind of trained from home at the club with our own individual coach and other crews around, whereas here you've got everyone, it's a different atmosphere because everyone's kind of focused on next week. Um, well I've not really had an opportunity to row in a crew boat all year. Um, I've been on my single, the first time I was in a crew boat was a few weeks ago. So final trial seat racing, I was a little bit worried coming to it, um, but it turned out pretty well. I think now it's just about getting on with it. I don't think it's difficult. There are quite a few Henley girls here, but like we're all in different crews. We're not rowing for our club. And then also I think it's actually quite nice to have a change of coach because they pick up on things that Leo might not have noticed. Mm. That's really good. It's more of eat a lot as opposed to you can't eat certain things. It's just making sure you keep the volume up and just, like, I mean, if you eat a lot of pasta, you're kind of set. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, day to day life, uh, I think just keep on top of it, try and eat a bit healthy, but you know, nothing wrong with chocolate now and then. <laughs> and definitely on race day, don't eat loads of food just before you race because that's not a good idea. <laughs> just like keep moving, so go for a like recovery walk, that will just help stop the lactate building up. Keep moving and do a proper cool down exercise. At the club, like when we have downtime, we sort of just sit around and chat. And then at home, I think it's probably just sleep. Like every spare minute you have, like sleep is the way to go, <laughs> really. I mean, when I'm not training, I'm either working or sleeping, so. Yeah. Um, well, so I finished school in um, July. And then, so this August, so like well, the day after we get back from Wales, I'm going to Australia for a year and I'm rowing in Sydney. 
and then I'm not really sure where I'm going to go to uni yet. I'm still thinking about going to maybe to Princeton or I might go to Exeter but I haven't made up my mind. If results all go well then I'm planning on going to Edinburgh University. Um, I'll be studying at Yale so hopefully doing a lot of rowing there. I'm really looking forward to going to some sleep because um, I've been mainly scaling. I don't think I would have looked over there. I think I would have been probably looking at a UK university. I feel like rowing like, really opens up like doors for you. I, I wouldn't have looked at the US as well, I don't think. Uh, results depending, hopefully you will study medicine. Uh, if not, gap year and then re figure out what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to UCLA in America. Uh, it basically was because of rowing that I chose to go there. Um, I'm going to Duke University in America. Uh, no, that's not rowing based, that's just for, for fun. <laughs> Um, I try and keep academics like, ticking over, especially with my A-levels, like you only do them once, whereas training you can, you can move, move around. Um, so I like to focus on academics and work training around it, but obviously like, when I'm training, I'm giving my all. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure. No, it's probably from Jen. I'm not really sure. I mean, she said a lot of things to me. Mainly, just put your blade in, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Really um, if you are, like, working together, then the boat will always, like, run smoother. So, like, being a good team. Yeah, like, you don't have to try harder to make the boat go faster. Yeah. Jen watches this. <laughs> no, no, Jen's definitely been, like, the most influential, like, coaching-wise. Um, I mean, my mum's always been there supporting me and my sister and like, all my family. But Jen's definitely been the one that sort of stepped me up into like the GB scene because I didn't massively consider it. And then she sort of told me that, yeah, I could actually do it. And instead of being like the one to say, yeah, you're strong enough, you're fit enough. She was the one that, you know, <laughs> you are fast enough and yeah. actually you can do it. And told me like mentally to believe that I can rather than physically being quick enough. I think probably Leon just this last year because there's been points where I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do it, especially at final trials. But you just lack confidence and like when I was ill, I just was like, oh God, I'm not going to do it. And he was there relaxing me, calming me down. Then you can go out and you're in the right headspace. And he's been really helpful this year because we've had our A-levels. He's really understood that, balancing our schoolwork and rowing. So I wasn't sure whether I could actually continue in my A-levels, but I'm so glad now looking back that he sort of like made that possible in a way. My parents, definitely my parents, they've allowed me to do this. I live an hour away from my school and my boat club, so like up until I started driving they've driven me everywhere and they've been hugely supportive. Um, I think definitely my parents have been very, very supportive, but also the coaches at the club. Like They've set up a really good system throughout all the years and it's really helped build a whole squad kind of atmosphere and us individually as athletes. My mum is very supportive of me at home um, and yeah, she makes sure I don't overthink stuff and yeah, she helps me get home. Um, yeah, my parents and then also the coaches at the club, so Bethan and Chris who's actually coaching our double now.